have you noticed that sociopaths are generally popular people? A sociopath is generally somebody that doesn't have a conscience. It's totally amoral. They can do any terrible thing. And, it, you know, for instance, they've just, the most famous sociopath in recent years that's been talked about a lot was Ted Bundy, the mass murderer who traveled the country a lot in Florida and killed these people. And, you know, his victims, all these women just loved him. They just thought he was the most charming, incredible guy. And everybody liked him. 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 But there was a show called Dexter that was on Showtime in which he was, he was, very similar to a Jeffrey Dahmer type character, a killer that had this charming personality, and he was again considered to be a sociopath. Some people believe that Dahmer may have been sociopathic. No, here's why I think about this. I mean, I don't dislike Charlie Sykes. <laughs> Are you calling him a sociopath? No. But he's a something. He's a somethingopath. It's probably not a sociopath because he's not killing anybody or anything. I have my own culpability here. One of the 97 times that Charlie's career was nowhere, I asked him if he wanted to be a panelist, and we started the Week in Review on my radio program, which morphed into Belling and Company, which re morphed into him then becoming a fill-in for me on the radio show, which morphed to him becoming, getting his own show on WISN, which morphed to him getting hired over at WTMJ, and they gave him his own show over there, and... Bruce Murphy, every, like, so often, will write a column about how Charlie's flip-flopped again, and he just chronicles how Charlie came out of college, and then he was this. First he was a conservative, then he was a liberal. I think first he was a liberal, then he was a conservative, then he went over to the Journal and got to Milwaukee Magazine, and he was a big liberal, and then I got him involved over here, and he realized that the only way to make it in talk radio was to be a conservative, and he became this giant conservative. Then his career started to go on the tatters, so he picks his fight with Trump and becomes an anti-Trump Republican, and now he's morphed all the way back, and he appears to be a liberal. I use Charlie here as a proxy. Because there are about, and the Liz Cheney thing is what's provoking this, there are about these 5% of Republicans who went off the rails when Trump got the Republican nomination in 16. While they loathe Trump, they now seem to loathe everything else about Republicanism. It's like, I'm guessing that going to purgatory, for those of you who believe in purgatory, would be spending all your day reading Charlie's tweets. He didn't have a single tweet criticizing any Democrat or any liberal. And looking at a guy like Charlie, and I think, frankly, quite a few other people who flopped around all over the top, all over the place. And as I say, I, I used to be a liberal myself, and I also changed my mind on certain things. Other than the big switch going from left to right, I still have principles, and I combine the principles with an open mind, which allows you to change your mind on certain things. I think that there's been a general consistency, a philosophy that's run through here, and the biggest philosophy I have is I support what works, not what's fair and not what makes you feel good. I support what works. And this is where I brought up that sociopath that I, I, I am actually not comparing him to an axe murderer or anything. But when I see a guy like Sykes, and I've had people ask me this question when Charlie was turning back in 16. So I listened to the guy for 24 years. I listened to him every day. I've had people tell me this. He was so persuasive, and he said all of these things. Are you saying that this was all, you know, bull bleep? That he was making it up, that it wasn't sincere? And I look at him and say, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's pretty evident. And the only conclusion I can draw is is the thing that most motivates them is social acceptance. In my career, I need the social acceptance of I need people who to want to listen to my program. What I don't need is for people to like me. I mean, they give me a lot of money to do this show that more than co compensates for the fact that some lefties think I'm the scum of the earth.